I am almost 100 days deep into my Minecraft hardcore world and this is my current house. It is a dirt shack that I've been living in over the last 100 days. But today, that all changes as we're going to be building the ultimate starter base in Minecraft. So first things first, we need to get everything that's inside of here, which to be fair, I've got quite a lot of valuables and building materials. Uh, we're just going to relocate them outside of here so we can get a nice clean slate to work with. And just like that, we are all ready to go with the build. But I want to try something I've never done before. Now, usually I'll just kind of freehand an outline and then just come up with the, the idea as I go along. But usually that does it, just doesn't cut it. So I'm going to go try to sketch out my build idea in Photoshop and then come back and try to take my Photoshop drawing into reality. So let's go do this. All right, so drawing didn't work out so well, but I did stumble upon an idea I really liked. And it's sort of this multi-tiered system where each tier is like an L shape. And uh, these tiers are gonna house different things like crops, animals, um, pretty much just those two things. And at the very top tier up here, we can make this however big we want to. Uh, this is where we're gonna be building our house. Uh, on top of all this and then underneath it's going to leave us with an absolute ton of space for storage because realistically I need a big storage building and I don't want to put it in a separate building. I also don't want to put my storage system in my house because then my house gets really big and clunky. So putting a storage system underneath the house um, is sick and we can also put other farms down here. We can um, utilize all this space and really that's what I care about. I just care about actually using the space for cool stuff. You know, we can make it look good, but rather than making it just look pretty, we can make it actually useful as well. So let's see if we can't figure out how to get this going. All right, we got the basic layout sort of taking shape. As you can see, we've just thrown some grass pretty much where either animals or crops are gonna go. I'm sort of figuring out where I wanna put each right now, uh, but this is where the house is gonna go. She's gonna be kind of a long lanky boy. And uh, I think I'm gonna do some sort of like stable mini barn up here. Uh, Cause I was thinking about building a barn, but I was like, eh, I don't actually wanna build a barn. So we're just gonna slap it up here. I think it should get the job done. Um, and I believe there should be a ton of space. Yeah. Okay, there is a ton of space under here, especially once we clear this out and uh, get everything good. So this is where our storage is. <laughs> okay, this looks really funny from below. We definitely gotta, gotta bolster this up. But our storage system um, is gonna be going over here as well as maybe some more cattle. Uh, anything that might need storage or just a lot of room. We have room. All right, just trying to spice things up a bit. Added some little archways here. And I really like the way this is coming along. I think we're going to sort of inlay this with some stone, maybe some cobblestone walls here. And I might just do chest and maybe, oh, that's what I can do. I can do like a wall of chest, a bunch of storage systems, and then my smelting stuff down here. Like I want like all my heavy duty, anything I need a bunch of, we're slapping down here. So we're making solid progress for sure, liking the way it's going so far. I just really can't decide if I want to make this crops or animals. Probably make this one animals. Maybe we make, can make that one cows, but that, if I have a lot of cows here and my house is here, wouldn't that just be like stupid loud? Pro probably would, but eh, I guess it's okay. All right, dude, just spawn them under here. Do I have pumpkin seeds? I don't know. Dude, pink dye would be cool. I have no emeralds. I just <laughs> I, I just wanted to see what he had to sell. Okay, I can't actually even buy anything, but uh, that's beside the point. All right, come on, cows. We are going on a little field trip. We've got some wheat, and we have a new home for you. No longer this deep slate cobblestone cage I put you in. You have a real home now. Come on in, fellas. Hey, if you want to take those stairs, those stairs work just fine. You, buddy, you missed, you missed the detour. All right, we got some cows. It's probably going to be very annoying because they're right here by my house, but it's easy access. If I ever need wheat, never need, ever need food. Just come down here, smack up a few cows, and I got, you know, it's practical. It might not be practical for, for the noise, but that's fine. I'll be spending most of my time elsewhere in my world, probably not in my bedroom in my house, so I'm not too worried about this. I don't really need this farm anymore, and uh, I don't know how else to get rid of this. I could, we could just break the grass, boy, that's so boring. Um, wait, it's, is it even, a, oh, I think it is 100%. No, 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 okay, this, this might take some time. We got, we got a lot of grass to transform back into normal. Now we've got the underside complete, and boys, 
this thing is shaping up. I, listen, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I really don't want to get ahead of myself. But this might be... Oh, I just... um, We actually are missing some parts right there. Okay, boom. Boys, like I said, this is... This is coming together. Oh, wait, I, I, I forgot. Okay, game two, two seconds. Okay, there we have it. Boys, like I said, this is coming together. I'm vibing with this. I'll definitely add some like shrubbery and greenery later on uh, in this build. But yeah, for right now, this is really, yeah, it's taking shape. Now, like I was saying, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but this might be the best starter house I've ever built, okay? Like I said, don't get into myself, but still, just, we're still getting there, okay? Now, I am gonna be putting potatoes and carrots here because I wanna have all the main grown crops and I already did a big wheat farm and I just kinda wanna switch it up a little bit and make it look pretty cool, but we don't have either of those items. So we're gonna have to go exploring it a little bit to grab them, but really, before I do any of that, I wanna just make sure this top area is good to go, mainly by actually building my house first because i'm <laughs> yet to do that so once i get my house built um and that stuff figured out we will go ahead and go on a scavenger hunt for some potatoes and some carrots hey yo dude what are you what are you doing for i remember back in the old days of minecraft you used to be able to make portal farms you would just make like ten thousand portals and then a bunch of zombie pigment would spawn through Dude, those are, the, those are the good days of Minecraft. Back in like, I don't know, 2013 or something, I think I built one of those. And then every time I see a Pikmin wander through, I just think back and like, ah, remember those days. And now the gold farms are just absolutely absurd and not the same at all. And at the bare minimum, this, oh, wait, I, this isn't really much of a bedroom. I, <laughs> I don't have much going on here, but we don't at least have to sleep outside by our furnaces and <laughs> all that other crap down there. The outline of the structure of the house is coming along nicely. We're putting in the roof right now. And as for the innards, the inside, it's simple. It's small. I, like, I'm gonna be honest. Why do I need a kitchen? Why do I need like a living room? I need a place to put my head. I have my storage below. And that's about it. I don't know. Like, I'll add some decorations and some other stuff in here. Uh, but for the most part, it's just kind of to sleep. So I don't want to build a massive house to just sleep in. Honestly, from a distance, it doesn't even look that bad. Like, it's, it's a bit wonky. It's almost like a beach house. Like a house on stilts, you know, if you've ever been to the beach. You see those tall houses with, like, a full floor underneath it with nothing there. It's kind of like that. But I'll actually be putting stuff under there. So... It'll, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth all the space we, uh, we've created. Speaking of which, if I were to put a bunch of chests down here, we gotta get busy making some wood because these chests aren't gonna build themselves. So, so what I've been doing is just bow milling big old spruce trees because I think each tree is like 80 logs or so. And then I mine my way up to the top. Once we're at the top, then we go all the way back down. And that's how I've been uh, supplying the wood for all of this so far. All right, we got the chest in place. I think we have 60 double chests, which should be more than enough at this starter base. But now we need about 60 item frames. And the only way we're going to get that is if we chop up a bunch of cows. And I still, I almost want to try to get a looting sword because that would make this so much easier. So I might try to roll like one enchant and then just see what happens all right looting three give it to me that's absolutely terrible dude now nah, that's crazy bro now nah, that's actually insane what good thing i have a bunch of chests here i'll have to re i guess we're gonna re we're gonna organize some chests that creeper was just the wrong place at the wrong time, bro. That's all my crops, like half of my building blocks just toast, dude. No. All right. We, we got it all somehow. Dude, three double chests worth of stuff. And yo, those cows are actually going to get super annoying because I can hear them from here. So we might be doing something about that. We're in the final stages of the house, and there's just a few finishing touches I'd like to implement. The first one is getting some more animals, because, dude, I have just way too many cows. The diversity is not there. So we're getting some chickens, and in order to get pigs, which I would also like to do, we have to uh, get some carrots, which means we will have to find a village, hopefully with carrots and potatoes, because I'd also like to grow that in my house. So once we get these chickens in place, there seems to be a ton of pigs just like scattered around. Uh, so no real problem there. And then uh, I'd like to get a horse, but that means finding a saddle, which means going into like a mine shaft or a dungeon. And 
listen, we'll get one eventually, and it seems like there's no shortage of horses around here, but from a distance, the house is looking... It's looking pretty spicy. We added some vegetation. Actually, I need these eggs for a recipe I'm, I'm uh, making. <gasps> Dude, thanks for another egg. You're the goat, bro. It's actually a chicken, but yeah, that uh, might be a problem. But I want the carrots and potatoes to go here. And then I guess these chickens will just take a little detour through my house in order to get to this stable over here, which I currently don't even have enough fence posts for. So let's fix that. Bada bang, you know what, we'll breed you guys. I also want to put the pigs up here and maybe a horse if I get one. Kind of just like a generic stable. Don't want to make this too crazy. And I only want a few cows, but I needed a lot of leather and item frames. So that's right, there's about 500 cows there. Uh, we've also put in this little staircase from the lower storage room area. And I want some sort of like garbage disposal thing here. So like a lava pit or some cactuses. Uh, but if I use lava, it might catch everything on fire, which isn't going to be good. And working on sorting everything out, got these smelters in place. We got smokers, furnaces, and blast furnaces over here. Don't really know what I'm going to slap in here, but I'm sure I'll figure that out. There we go. That's what I was wanting. And then put this right here. I mean, I'm going to be honest. Like I said, this, this home... It's, it's just pretty much a bed, which I am going to be making this bedroom not as scuffed, but we honestly, I just kind of want to find a village first. Hey, on the way we found a uh, sea temple? Guardian temple? I don't know what they're called. I might drain it in in like a thousand days or something like that. I've always wanted to, but God, those projects seem so daunting, but at least I know where one is now. Alrighty, please. I've traveled a long distance. Potatoes! Hey! So I can't breed with the potatoes, I don't think. But that's a good start. I mean, I don't have... Oh, yeah, that's actually a pretty good trade. I'm probably going to check the chest of all these villager houses as well. Um, sometimes they have, like, seeds in them, like, right here. But I don't know if they have carrots. Do some of them have carrots? More potatoes. If they got potatoes, maybe they have carrots. It's kind of, kind of the same thing. You know what? I'm going to steal this bell as well. Thank you. Pumpkin pie but not carrots. Bro, you guys have so many potatoes. This is insane. Boy, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Just bread and potatoes. Dang, man. I feel like I need to find... I, I feel like I always see them in, um, like, plains biome villages. I feel like that's where I always see the carrots. So maybe we'll try to go find one of those. Boys, the plain biome is secured, but I just see seeds. Oh, carrots! Oh, man. Maybe I should have... Nah. I, I, I thought I, like, knocked up most of the crops in the other place, but we got 10 carrots. We got 10 carrots. And now we're going to loot it. And then we're going to head back and plant the carrots. Ooh, Blacksmith Village. These guys have, like, diamonds sometimes? Or a bunch of iron. I will take that. Boys, the pigs are secured. We got the potatoes and the carrots planted. All that's missing is a horse, but I think we'll get that in due time. But the house is coming together. I think all we need to do is spruce up this bedroom a bit because it is uh, it's pretty down bad right now. And this is the bedroom. It's simple. It's clean. We got two beds in case you want to get fancy, sleep on the other side. And that's pretty much it. We've got the uh, pin over here. We've got the carrots, the potatoes, the cows, which there's still, I think, one too many. We slapped in another portal that I really don't even think fits down here. So we'll have to make another portal hub in the future episode. And, uh, oops, let me go grab some lava. Oh, whoops, the portal's not lit. Boom. There we go. With the lava place, I think that wraps up today's episode. If you guys want to make sure you never miss one, make sure you subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in episode four. Peace.